Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Uh, I like what I see. This holiday release might be uh, might be good for some. For others, it varies. What is good, YouTube? Your boy Mel Nicholson coming back with another quick video on today. Listen. It seems certain sites are kind of showing that Air Jordan, at least Nike, is kind of doing that holiday release where you can see the array of Jordans that's coming out, at least during the holiday season. So what I kind of did was break it down with the naming convention that they have for each shoe to make everything easier in terms of slides. And I'll let you know which ones I feel like I'm going to go after. And actually, you know what? Without further ado, man, let's just get straight into it because you're looking at the first slide, at least the way I have it in. Quite frankly, I can tell you off the bat that the first two shoes I will be going after. So the Jordan 12 Cherries, uh, it's a shoe that, you know, it's re retro quite a few times, but I feel like because it's a 12, a lot of people are not going to like it. And I will say this, when you look at these list of shoes on different um, pictures, just understand that everybody's going to have different opinions on what they're going to want to get and what they don't want to get. Listen, it is at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you as to what you want to get. And don't let anybody influence you any other way. Just get what you want. <laughs> whether it sells out or whether it doesn't sell out, doesn't matter. It's what you want. And that's what's most important. So Jordan 12 is definitely cherry is definitely what I'm going to go after uh, and then, you know, Jordan 11, anybody knows that on this channel, I love Jordan 11s. Um, so the gratitude I will be going after. I know a lot of people were hoping that it was the DMP, but, you know, got to switch it up. And, you know, I get it. I get it. It's something a little bit different, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully get that on the Milt Difference channel. I do expect a couple shock drops to happen between the Jordan 12 Cherries or even exclusive access for Jordan 12 Cherries as well as the Jordan 11 Gratitude. Now, the Jordan 13 Wheat, I'm not sure I'm going to go after this, but I know that this has released, I think it was in 2004, and then there was like a, kind of like a color reverse in 2017, where it, it, it seemed like the colorways were inverse. So, you know, I get it, but hey, for me, that might be a pass. And then, of course, it's interesting that they have this as the Jordan 8 Winterized I think I saw Gunsmoke. Now, keep in mind, these naming conventions for some of these shoes may even change by the time it hits the Nike sneakers app. So just take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes StockX has, you know, different names and Nike turns around and they'll name it something completely different. So again, you'll see the names as I'm having on there as they are today, but they could change by the time the release date happens. Um, and looking at the Jordan 8 Winter Eyes Gunsmoke, they usually have, Jordan brand usually comes out every holiday release with a different Winter Eyes version. Um, I've seen them multiple times, came out with the Air Jordan 9 NRG Winterized version. And it's like, mm, okay, I get it. But this one actually looks good. I'm not, I'm on the fence about getting certain Jordan shoes, uh, at least from the holiday release, just because I don't know what's going to go happen with the Yeezy releases that could impact my decision on getting multiple Jordans this year. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, the Jordan 1 Reimagined Royals, although I feel like it could be, a men's release, I'm hoping it's a men's release. I, I feel like just because when it comes to stuff like this, it typically sometimes it's like a women's release. And it's kind of like a big letdown. Um, this is another shoe where I'm on the fence of whether to get or not. But I imagine that in looking at this picture, the midsole does look white. But these reimagined releases, the midsole is usually creamish, if that makes sense. So... Something that's definitely a nice one. I'm looking forward to uh to kind of debate on whether to get that or not. The Jordan 1 satin breads, I'm not going after. And I know it looks good, but again, I think this one is a confirmed women's release. So if that's the case, I wear size 13. I'm already out the game. But I know some people will be going after this release. I get it. There was a lot of hype around it when it first initially came out with limited pairs, things of that nature. But that's going to be a shoe that, you know, I can't go over it based off the, the size. So it's a skip for me. Um, this next one, I think they labeled it as Air Jordan 3 off New York. Um, I could be completely wrong, but it kind of looks like this. That makes sense. So this could also be another women's release, but mm, 
I'm not sure who will be interested in that. Listen, the color scheme looks nice. Um, and I get it, but it, it, this obviously could be a pass for me as well. And this Air Jordan 14, I have to look at it for a second, this black and white. Um, this one didn't officially get a name yet. This is one of those shoes that I think that by the time it hits the sneakers app, they're going to give it a completely different name that we kind of envision. I'm only labeled this as Air Jordan 14 black and white because I know that there was a Jordan 14 cleat version, like a football cleat version, and it, it kind of had the same color scheme and they labeled that black and white. So, you know, if they label this Air Jordan 14 black and white or pandas, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd highly be shy. I, I'm just saying, but they could be. Um, but it looks nice. It definitely looks nice. It's something actually I will be considering copying uh, when it releases. And of course, you look on the next slide, we got the Air Jordan 4 Craft Olives. <sighs> Not sure. I see different color schemes in that one. Um, it looks good though, but it may be something I pass. And then, of course, you got the Jordan 1. I think this is the, the Mauve or the Move. Um, the color scheme, I think, is more to not my liking, if that makes sense. But, hey, if you like it, I love it type thing. And, of course, you got the Air Jordan 2 Italy. Of course, you know, the whole Jordan 2 story with the Italian leather, I can understand where the theme's coming up. So you, you push out an Air Jordan 2 that has the Italy colorways, at least somewhat. So I get it. It's, it's dope. Something I may consider. Uh, Jordan 5, Georgetown, and this actually looks nice because I believe the last Jordan, Georgetown themish retro shoe was the Jordan 6. I think that's the last one we saw. So I guess they're moving to the 5 series. Uh, yeah, some people may have, you know, mixed reactions. I'm pretty sure there's some people that have the real PE version. They're going to compare it to this version and, you know, we'll see. But that's one of those shoes that I could kind of see myself getting, but, you know, it all depends. Uh, they got the Air Jordan 3 Fair. I think this is from the Fair pack, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not a, I am not really wasn't around in the shoe game when the Fair pack came out. So this may be, uh, I don't know. I'm on the fence with this one. I have to kind of see it up until the actual day of the release to determine whether I want to get it or not. That makes sense. And then, of course, you look at the Jordan 11 Napoleon. Now, this shoe... I think it's also a women's exclusive. So it's like, even if it was a men's exclusive, I'm, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get it just because of the colorway and color scheme. I think it's dope. It's just not for me, if that makes sense. And I think to top everything off, pause, uh, the Air Jordan 6 Aquas. Now, if you look on the sneakers app, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's supposed to come out October 7th. Yep, October 7th on the sneakers app, at least for now. And they, they kind of threw this in with the holiday release Um so I, I kind of get it, but it's it's a shoe that I'm on the fence again to getting, but I, I'm not sure just yet. So comment below, let me know out of all these holiday releases, which one, at least which Air Jordan you may be going after. Uh, I, I see a couple, definitely. Like I said, the first two I'm definitely going after. And I look forward to hopefully bringing that on the Milton Nevison channel. I am out for now, and you guys stay blessed.